What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang Zoe YouTube video. Now today we're checking out the Hoop Invader set that is dropping in the next two hours. Uh, as you can see, I already have the Diamond Theo Ratliff. I have played with him. He is really good defensively. Uh, he has uh, great rebounding, great defensive stats. He's decent inside on offense and he has a little bit of a midi, I think about an 80, 79, 80. Uh, can't shoot the three ball though, so stick away from that. Uh, with, that's why I believe he will be fairly cheap uh, and why I wanted to have a quick look at this card. First up, out of all the cards that are in this set, um, like I said, decent inside, good dunking. Actually, not bad ball handling for a center. Uh, yeah, good defensive uh, stats, good rebounding. Really good speed. He gets up and down the court really quickly. Um, and he does come with uh, six Hall of Fame badges and eight gold badges. Uh, now, my stats that, I've, that I have for him, uh, he is averaging 12.2 points. I've played six games with him, so not bad by any stretch of the imagination. He's only played five minutes, so 12 points in five minutes, not bad. Uh, defensive and offensive rebounding or rebounding together, he's averaging around five. Um, blocks, uh, about half a block, which is okay for five minutes. Uh, good steal, good assist, yeah. So he's, he's really not that bad a player. Um, but because he doesn't have a three ball, I don't see him really selling for a lot. So he'd probably be able to pick this one up pretty cheap. Uh, that's the first one that I want to look at. Uh, now, we'll go to the pink diamond here. The Zach Levine. I haven't had a chance to look at him, but 6'5", uh, I believe he can, yes, play the point guard position. So this might be a, if you're running uh, the Tyrese Halliburton card, this might be one that you um, get Halliburton out for. Because I think Zach Levine will probably be a little bit better than him. Uh, without having a look at the stats, obviously comparing, but 6'5", 181 pounds. Uh, let's have a quick look here. He's driving layup 92, so obviously attacking the rim is Zach Levine's specialty. Uh, he's mid-range and three ball 92, standing dunk 85, driving dunk 99. It's Zach Levine, what do you expect? That's what it should be. Uh, decent ball handling, decent passing, pass accuracy, pass IQ. Um, good steal, 88 steal, good perimeter defense, so he's not just going to have people drive by him, which is good. Uh, speed, 95, speed with ball, 90, 89 agility, 98 vertical. I don't know why it's not 99, that should just be 99. Maybe they just had to keep the stats down. So I think this card here is going to be really good uh, for point guard position or at the two guard, even at the shooting guard would be fine. Uh, let's have a look at badges here. So he has 11, so I won't go through them all, I'll just scroll through them. Limitless range, that's one that's really good i've started to really like limitless range so yeah he'll be great um i think especially the point guard position limitless range set shot specialist shifty shooter man don't fire he's going to be a uh, he's going to be a gun um then 18 gold badges so if you can boost any of these up to hall of fame he's going to be this might be a card and a set that i have to complete because uh yeah zach levine is going to be sick now, Keith Van Horn, second card. I've seen people say he's not that great. Somebody had his uh, somebody had his hidden gem card, and they said that it wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, obviously 6'10". Does he play small forward? So yeah, power forward, small forward. 6'10", small forward is going to be really good. He's going to be very similar to my Pajas Stojakovic, I think. Just obviously, probably not as good a shooter, but probably does a few other things a little bit better. Might be a bit faster. Now, let's have a quick look at his stats. So... Yeah, pretty medium range inside game. Uh, 93 ball, which is really good. Driving dunk 75, no standing dunk. It's key fan horn, although at 6'10", you'd expect him to have a better standing dunk. Uh, average to minimum, min like average defensive stats. Good rebounding. Uh, decent speed, not the best actually. Not the greatest speed with ball, but yeah, once again, key fan horn. Uh, let's see what badges he comes with. So he has four Hall of Fame and nine gold. So dead eye, limitless range, slippery off ball, and set shot specialist. There he's Hall of Fame badges. Um, this card here, I don't expect this card to go for a hell of a lot. Maybe a hundred. I might be able to pick it up pretty cheap actually. Uh, then we have a look over here, an Allen Iverson card. Now with cards like Zach Levine coming out, the um, the Tyrese Halliburton card, Allen Iverson kind of doesn't really fit in anybody's lineup right now. He's Probably that little bit too short, six foot tall. Uh, what what have you, they done with his stats here? So really good draw foul, really good close shot, re, uh, good mid range, not a great three ball. 
Um, 65 driving dunk. Ball handling, obviously, great. It's Allen Iverson. His speed is what's going to really, really curve this one. Perimeter defense, 88. Oh, sorry, 82 with a steal of 88. Speed only a 93. I mean, I would have expected a little bit faster. I know it is the Nuggets, Allen Iverson, but still, it's AI. Uh, badges, what does he come with? No Hall of Fame badges. Okay, so this card here, I think this card's going to be like 50k, maybe. Uh, yeah, so far I'm not seeing too much that will stop people from being able to finish this set. I'm actually really going to consider it, considering that you get a 95 plus overall hidden gem. So that's what I'm definitely going to have a good look at that. Now, Mitchell Robinson, always a decent card. There's no, em wait, diamond, there's no amethyst in this one. So Mitchell Robinson, if you're running a budget ball, are probably decent. Seven foot tall, um, no three ball, obviously. Good dunking stats. Good blocking, good rebounding, especially for a Ruby. Uh, if you're trying to run a budget lineup, you're running Ruby still, or Ruby's Amethyst, he might fit into your lineup pretty well. Let's have a quick look. Sasha Pavlovich. No, sorry. Sasha, Sasha Vujicic. Man, I just mucked that one up. So, pa Sasha Pavlovich was for the Cavs. That's my bad. Sorry, Sasha. Uh, but yeah, Sasha Pavlovich, 6'7, can play point guard as well. So, he might be a good budget option for a point guard. Um, if you're trying to run point guard, 6-7 point guard is going to be decent. Uh, he has an 85 three ball, 85 midi. That's decent. That's pretty good. 75 driving dunk. These ruby cards here, these might be pretty good. 77 perimeter defense. Uh, 80 speed. So once again, 6-7 at the point guard, only 80 speed. Probably not going to get it done. Uh, any good badges. So he has three gold. So dead eye limitless and set shot. So not the worst, uh, for, especially for a ruby. Pretty good actually. Uh, then we have Bimbo Coles, Omar Asik, uh, George McLeod, Tyler Zeller, Brian Cardinal, and uh, Yuta Tabusi. Uh, now, this set here is going to be very attainable, I think, for people. And as long as Zach Levine doesn't go for... Obviously, I don't think it's going to be end of him up right now because they haven't released. But as long as this card doesn't go for, like, 2 million, 1.5 million, which, if we're looking at the stats... I don't think he's going to sell for like, you know, as crazy as the Paul Georges and the LeBrons and the cards of the Giannis's, cards like that. Uh, a 92 three ball isn't super, super crazy. It's, it's really good, but not super, super crazy. Awesome dunking, obviously. Um, good steal, good primitive defense. Really good speed. Decent speed with ball. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. I don't think it's going to be super, super expensive. I could be wrong. People be like really hoarding these pink diamond cards, especially the ones that are like this, where there's only one pink diamond in the set, and all the other cards are going to be cheap. I think they'll be cheap. They could. I could be totally wrong. And if I'm off base and you're re watching this later, go down in the comments. Tell me you're off base. You're way off. Learn to look at cards properly. But um, that's just not what I think. I think that these cards here are going to be very attainable. Especially if someone like myself who got lucky pulling two Dr. J's last uh, last week or a couple of days ago. I pulled two Pink Diamond Dr. J's. That's why I have 2.4 million uh, MT. So this set here is probably one that I'm going to finish because I will use Zach Levine. I already have Theo Ratliff. Keith Van Horn probably fits into my lineup somewhere. And then the rest of the cards, AI will be fun to use, but the rest of the cards will just be sort of throwaways for me. But yeah, this... And then we get the 95 overall hidden gem, but... Anyway, that's just me having a little look here at the Hoop Invader set. Um, let me know if you guys finish it. If you get any really good pulls from any of these cards, any of these packs, sorry, um, let me know down below. Also, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and um, yeah, because we've just hit over 800 subscribers, so we're definitely on the way to a thousand. It's been a goal of mine for years and years and years to get to a thousand. I've just never been consistent enough, um, but yeah. I'm sort of getting there now, so everyone that's subscribed recently, really, really appreciate it. Everyone that comments and shows love and all that stuff, I fucking really appreciate it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.